Na Sivania Skibari Skibara Shupata Hambarna You know you're up early when you see the sunrise. Look at that. Oh, and it's gone out of focus. Great. Well a great start. Oh no, coming back. Oh yes. I had a little wobble there, but we saw that one out. Oh, it's gone again. Na Sivania Let's wake Byron up. I honestly can't remember the last time that I saw a sunrise. That was a bit of a random one. <laughs> and I blame this. Peaky blinders. It's that your Joe's Vlogmas, but remember he's not a daily vlogmas. Right. Day four of Vlogmas. We should probably go and check and make sure Byron's actually alive because I've never seen Byron sleep so much at, at, at such an early time. Byron. Byron? Hello? Byron? Byron? The hell? He's got to be outside. What? Right, okay. Not gonna lie, I'm very confused. Byron? Byron? I don't get it. His shoes are still there. <laughs> what the hell are you doing in there? Sleep, sleeping. <laughs> why, why are you sleeping in the broom cupboard? Uh, I've got disambiguation. Have you heard of that? No. Disambiguation. You must have heard of that. I'm not the only person you know who has that. Disembowelment. Disembowelment. Disambiguation. Basically, a sleepwalking disorder. Bed and cells like bath. And you end up in the, the you broom cupboard. Nine times out of ten, it's a bath. But this is pretty freaking weird. Well, how was it? Was it comfy? Uh, I don't know. When was the last time you saw me? I don't know how long I've been in here. What is the time? How was your sleep? Not bad. <laughs> it's not the time it. It's all pretty rested. It's always midday. Oh crap! Really? I better get started. It's this day. <laughs> you went to bed with that hat on as well. Why have you got a hat on? Uh, Oh gosh, for warmth, for our plan ahead for this stuff. When you leave, this is the type of thing that happens. I'm so confused. You're not normal. No. I thought you were normal, Byron. Give it a go. Give yeah. it a freaking go. Bro. All right, hold that. There we go. Oh. Nah, you know. Oh, you know what? It is actually quite comfy. There we go, bro. It's less of a disorder, more of just an adventure. Sorry, I, I almost nodded off. <laughs> it's actually really cozy in there. It's warm. Everything you need. All the Wi-Fi's in there. Perfect. It's a vlogger's dream. It is that time to search for number f Oh, I found it straight away. Number four. Byron, it's your turn. Maybe this is a cool thing to wake up from a disambiguation sleep. I'll give it a rest with your disambiguation. <laughs> Why's it got number two and no number four? I I'm a little bit confused. Yeah. You know what? You knew this was a some sort of boo booby prize and you put number four in there. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Right. What have we got this year? It's today. Absolutely nothing. Literally, that can't be a thing. Surely not. Everything, nothing. <laughs> Congratulations! You've received the gift of nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is the ultimate in minimalism. Less is more, more or less. Nothing is precious. Nothing is simple. Nothing is sacred. Open the pack and be enthralled when nothing happens. Allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. And calm your soul. Save a moment. See what's going on. Nothing great. Really And calm your soul. Well, my Christmas cheer has definitely been decreasing since that whole incident I just witnessed. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. Well, I'll tell you what, Byron. It's not nothing anymore. Do you know what it is now? Come here, I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what, it's, what it is now. It's recycling. What is a Monday evening without pasta in a wooden tray? You're a good looking lad. And what if you keep eating these microwave meals? To be fair though, it's been in the oven. We've ovened it. You're like a real life Garfield. Do you know who Garfield is? Yeah, he sleeps and he eats and he hates his owner. <laughs> he speaks in thoughts, so I guess I'm gonna be mute from now. So, uh, my dad's just texted me saying, Find something on Amazon that you want for £20 to £30, then my shopping is over. Thing is, I would try and mock him and be like, Oh, I'm trying to think of something funny to say, but that's literally me. That's exactly how I operate around Christmas time. Like, you tell me what you want between this price range and I'll get it and then I'm done. Then I don't have to worry about anything and it's done. I'm slowly turning into my dad. Oh God. Also, I want to point out, today's actually gonna to be a, a sort of vlog where I, I was gonna say unlock a lot of things. It's not a game, Joe. Where I unwrap quite a few things. I've got a lot of parcels that have arrived and there's a lot of parcels that have arrived recently that were gonna be included in the 25, you know the 25 
presents um, that I have out there that we open every day. There's a few presents that arrived that were spares. I still have no idea what they were. And I've just unwrapped this. As soon as I opened this, I thought, right, this is some sort of drug paraphernalia. I will be sending this straight back to Amazon. But it's not. It's a bellow signal horn. Uh, it's lung powered. It's perfect for boating, camping, sporting events, bicycles. And it says, it says, it says down here, blowing in Byron's face at inappropriate times. Let's give it a little go, shall we? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> See how it is. Did you finish, did you finish your lasagna? Yes. Do you, want to, do you want to jam later? Can do. Sweet, bro. I've got a, I've got a new instrument. I heard. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got a new instrument. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. Take it easy. Check it, bro. Yeah. Cool. My new favorite toy in the whole wide world. Ish. You're still going. You're still freaking going, aren't you? <laughs> I've left the house. I'm actually your assistant today, Byron. Looking forward to it, bro. I hope you bring your A-game. I know. We're doing a photo shoot, but not of me, not of my Instagram, although I might ask Byron for a sneaky little Instagram That's picture, because I haven't uploaded for a while, and last <laughs> one I did was a brand deal, so I probably did another one. <laughs> We are heading off to a bridge down this way, I, I think. You know the one you see in like Made in Chelsea and you see it in basically every Instagram model's Instagram? The one that's all lit up in uh, in London. We're going to head to that and get some nice photographs of Byron. He's actually a keen photographer, aren't you, Byron? Well, not of me, of the bridge. But yeah, I, I do enjoy photography. I do enjoy clicking my finger on the shadow from time to time. Oh, that's not all he enjoys clicking his finger, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and Trump. Don't really know where I was going with that one. Onwards to the bridge. See these little beam lights in the sky. Do you see it? Going across the sky, look. Yeah. UFO activity. I'm telling you now, Byron. UFO activity. Oh my god, this is a nice building. Look at that. Byron, look at it. Oh, yeah. Byron, oh, Byron, look at it. Oh, it's oh. huge. Cool, blimey. Huh? No. They're earmuffs. <laughs> Did you bring that word? <laughs> yeah. So when I asked you earlier what was on your back. Oh, they're for boats. I just realized this is, a, this is a boat horn. And we have boats all along here. Nearly every skipper's going to pop his head. Oh my god. They blow on the horn, they're like, oh, we've been summoned. <laughs> they all get on the top of their deck of their boats and just salute. <laughs> Good on you, Joe. <laughs> Byron, Yo. I know you're from uh, South Africa, so you used to like nice sandy beaches and, you know, luscious blue sea. Yeah. Well, feast your eyes on London Beach. It's amazing. Look at that. I really love all the plastic bottles. Plastic well, can help you float because you fall in. Of course. Is that the lifeguard hurt? Uh, yes, yeah. Oh, how did yeah. you even get in there? Uh, it's actually, it's like a little, uh, it's not actually a person. Frozen nest. Please. It's just a big, yeah, big bird. Oh. What do you think? It's lovely. I love what you guys have done. It's in the city as well. It's yeah. Really accessible. Exactly. And it's super crowded. And if you, and if you go in and you think, oh no, I forgot to wear my shoes. Don't worry. People leave spares. I've said this before and I'll say it again. These houseboats right here are actual goals. Look at that, that's so cool. Thinking for, like, for next summer, Byron, what do you yeah. think about this? Yeah. Actually getting hold of one of these boats. I mean, not stealing one, not commandeering a vessel like Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh. Those moustache days are over. Oh. Thinking about actually getting one of those boats, like a really cheap one, as cheap as possible, but doing it up and making it look amazing, like decking it out, completely like gut it out and start from fresh and make it all nice and modern inside and just make it look sick like we're talking cool like sofas like drinks machines like that kind of thing arcade machines what do you reckon bro anti-gravity room and well i mean anti-gravity room's pushing it a little bit we start with the vr room start vr with VR, room. vr room yeah but what do you guys think do you think it'd be a good idea let me know in the comments below oh we found a dog hello thing is byron i said i wanted to get one of those boats I've got a feeling that I'll look at the price online and I'll realise actually I can't actually get one of those. They're a bit too expensive. We might have to just make do with one of these. I don't even know what that is, but I feel like that's how we're going to have it and that's how it's going to stay. No electric, no fun. Just cold, wintry nights on a boat alone. It's sort of like how things are now. Yeah. <laughs> Byron! There it is. There it is! Not this guy. There! The bridge! Byron keeps almost standing in dog poo. Watch out! I told you I'm going to be the best assistant you've ever had. Whilst I said that, I stood in a dog poo myself. But do you know what? I took one for the team. Because? 
Got your back. I'm, got the, I'm the ultimate. I'm the ultimate assistant. You're the ultimate assistant. That's right. I didn't even ask him to say that. He just knows because he just knows I am a good assistant with a ginormous hood. Jesus. Oh, look, he's happy. He's seen it all. A little good on his face. Baron. Uh, yeah, you, you'd be wrong if you said you couldn't. Do you remember that bit in Tomb Raider, um, Baron, when the walls come after you? No! Run! 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 Get that shot, Byron. You got some competition, Byron. <laughs> some competition. We were here first. <laughs> they had no idea what I was on about. You're crazy, Byron! He is getting that shot. What a sick car. <laughs> Bloody Byron, he loves this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> the cycle sun has made me jump. <laughs> Now somewhere in this park, I think it's around here actually, just down here, is the tree that my sister actually vandalised Byron. Oh, what? Yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> You're gonna drop her like that on the floor? I think it's this tree right here, look. It was there, that love heart there, look, see it? Really? It, it was a, I'm, wait, was it a Z? It looks like a J. Oh god, look at this. Bloody Zoella fans, they're everywhere. It looks like a J, doesn't it? Oh god. I, I take that all back. Zoe is. It, 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 was, it was actually me. Do the crime, pay the time. That's why I say Byron. Byron thinks I'm actually here to be his assistant, but the real reason I'm here is because I've just come down to look at dogs in the park. Boston Terriers are my new favourite, so I'm only here really to transport one of those. Don't tell Byron, he'll get upset. You know that I'm constantly walking next to you. The voice carries, bro. And I can read your eyes. Right now, you look a bit startled. I think we got away with that one. Surprise, the lens has been in steam up. <laughs> cool. The assistants had his uh, had a little cheeky parachute. Oh. We're gonna go back now. We're gonna take. We're gonna take one of Byron. Byron, what's your Instagram? My name, Byron Langley. There it is. Pops on the screen right there. At Byron Langley. And mine is over here. That's my Instagram, guys. If you want to go and see the photograph we just took just here in this pile of leaves, or oh, I trust you want to see it, go over there and give it a like and follow me as well. That's the most important thing. What are you just saying, Byron? I was saying if we go out once a week, can we get enough? Oh. <laughs> Bloody walked into a tree. Yeah, what was the story again, Byron? Oh, the tree stole the moment. <laughs> oh, we are off. We are off to the supermarket to get towels. You'll see why a little bit later on. Hey! Yay! We need to see if the bath is in a play. <laughs> Byron! As you can see, we are currently running a bath. Byron and I are actually gonna have a bath together. We thought we'd do a little experiment as it's getting close to Christmas. One thing that I've never really tried properly, actually I've tried it once or twice, but I didn't think I really liked it, right? And that is mulled wine. You ever tried mulled wine before, Byron? I had my first glass of Winter Wonderland. I had my first glass of Winter Wonderland. So I thought, I decided, rather than drink mulled wine, what would happen if you bathed in it? Do you know what I mean? So what we've gone and done, we're running a bath, we've got some wine, red wine over there, and we've got a load of oranges. We're gonna cut the oranges, chuck them in the bath. Hopefully it won't stain my bath. I feel like there's so many parents right now overhearing you guys watching this right now thinking, is he mad? Like, he's gonna ruin his bath. Now I've Googled it, and there's cases for it staining your bath and cases for it not staining your bath. A thing called venotology, or it's called venotherapy. People that bathe in red wine, apparently it's good for your skin, apparently it's good for you. Even if it does end up ruining the bath, at least it might make our skin, skin better. A bit more worried about the towels. We worry about the towels and that is why, Byron. That's why I went to Sainsbury's. We went to Sainsbury's to get some, you guessed it, black towels. I mean, it did cost 30 quid. I mean, it's, it's, it's worth it. The wine's expensive as well. Gosh, this has got an expensive bath. Is it? Well, it's not a it's expensive experiment and bath. We're, we're doing this for science, Byron. Forget how it's scientific. Last week we sent Mikey into space. Doesn't this week work. we're testing vino, vino therapy. The most important thing about this is we want to work out if we will actually get drunk just from being in a <laughs> bath full of wine. And mince pies. We've got mince pies as well. You don't even like mince pies, do you? Mm, I'll give it a go. Okay, we've gone for a uh, classic Sainsbury's basic Ooh. red wine with the table, not the cellar. So it's not really, it's ba they're basically saying that this is not a, a decent wine you've got to keep in the cellar, it's just one for the table, like one to share around. I'm going to taste it because I'm actually a wine connoisseur. you got to, oh, you've got to smell it first usually. Oh my god, that's what the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. I do like, right, okay, Byron, you ready? Ready. Oh no. Oh my god. It's like blood. Should have taken photos while this was happening. That's be sweet effect. Look at that. It's like, oh my god. What the hell? Put your oranges in. And then you got yourself a sweet cocktail. Duff float. 
Hey, it's gone black, but it's warm and it does smell like mold wine, Byron. Hey, that's good news. This is looking good. I mean, it's looking, it looks pretty rank, but it's looking good. Right, now I've got to do a few press ups quick because I need to make it look like I'm a hench. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I haven't lost it. Right, Byron, you get to decide which end you go in. Oh, Byron's in, he's gone for the tap Whoa. end. You're a crazy boy, Byron. You got all the oranges down that end. Whoa. Ladies, get your screenshots now. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. Oh, it is nice, isn't it? <laughs> this is meant to be good for you as well. Hey, hey roommate goals. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's a little bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want mince pie there, oh, bro? Yeah, thanks, bro. There you go, dude. Cheers. Ding! Cheers, man. I just want to crush first. Always. Then I just gave it straight over the middle. Come in, come in! Come in, come in it's a lot! You didn't know that one. Hey! <laughs> Josh, get down! What are you guys doing? Josh, you're not supposed to see this! We're having a mulled wine bar, Josh! Byron, where's your other hand? <laughs> <laughs> This is not what it, I mean. Fire in the emergency behind you, behind you, quick, grab it. Ward him off! Uh, <laughs> you're not going to the Close to actually go. <laughs> no, he's broken it. <laughs> what is that? We're having a mulled wine bath, Josh. What's uh, it, what does it look like? Oh, don't you drink some? This is actually an experiment, Josh. So, to see what? To see if you get drunk from having a bath, just mold water. Well, you might. Do you think it like soaks into your bloodstream? Apparently, that's the theory. Should I actually drink some? Yeah, you definitely yeah, should drink some. some. Shit. I will drink some. Fire, oh, please God. do a fart in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no luck. No luck. Imagine it's for like time. I drank it! Uh, hey! It's not great, Josh. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not great. Is it not as good as the mulled wine at Winter Wonderland? You should pull up one of those bottles and then have a swig out of that. Byron, Byron, Byron. I need a good old cricket, cricket drinking soda. Hold on, hold on. I've got to tote your ass. Hang on. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Because all the trees have been cut. Oh, Byron! You're gonna get ill! Byron is an elegant piece of broccoli and I look like a, a, a sweaty potato. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin's starting to get really itchy. No. <laughs> really itchy. Is it? Oh, I am starting to look a little bit itchy. Yeah. I, need my, I need my knees. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Do you think it's the oranges or do you think it's the. Uh... I think it's just the fact that I'm snow no George. George! George! Josh! <laughs> Josh! You have to ruin it, don't you, Josh? Well done! Oh! <laughs> Well done! Don't take a thumbnail now. It's going up! Yeah, no, this is really bad now. <laughs> Josh, shut up. Josh, this is not funny. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, Byron! Tsunami! <laughs> I'm on fire, literally. Joe, how are you not ready? Are your lungs alright? My lungs are fine, it's the skin, look at that. Oh, good. On my back there, freaking. Oh, Back here. Oh my god, man. Look at that, bro. What's under there? Hey, hey. <laughs> you don't have to pay rent this month if you don't sue. Oh, uh, yeah, but. Oh. Two, two months. Okay, done. You see that? It's on camera. I shook it. He can't see it. Okay, so in conclusion, we didn't get drunk. We just got very stingy. But it's worn off now, which is all good. Willy. Mum? Oh, we're outside. Look at this. There, we've got the little Christmassy lights on in the outside area. We got Byron. We got Josh Peters. Why are you still here? <laughs> no, I'm joking, Josh. I actually really like you. I should pretend that I don't. <laughs> and this is where I'm going to end the vlog. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. One of these. No, not one of Josh's. Give this video a thumbs up. Shoot my Let's thumb see. Up. I can't like yeah, do it straight. Yeah, that is. No, you, you can't sit there. We, oh. What? <laughs> I don't know why. <sighs> If you enjoyed this video, let's see if we can get, I really enjoyed this vlog today. Let's see if we can get this vlog. I'm gonna be really optimistic here, I think. 25,000 thumbs up. That's, That's your target. If we do that, we'll do that bath challenge again with the more wine, but this time with no shorts on. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, link in the description to the books, to the merch, to everything else, and I will see you tomorrow with another vlog. But remember, road to a million. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, Josh? I'm in a good mood. I'm not a daily robber, sir. Bye! <laughs>